I'm Dr. Kayvon Stassen. I'm a professor of physics and astronomy at Vanderbilt University. I was told from a very early age that I had, uh, that I was, had a talent for math and science. Um, and so I began to identify from a very early age with the idea that I would grow up to be a scientist. And I imagined myself uh, becoming an astronaut. It really sort of came out of a, a long time fascination growing up with uh, with the stars, with outer space, and with science more generally. I decided that uh, my best chance for doing that would probably be to go into the military, uh, become uh, a military aviator, um, log the flight hours, put in the time, uh, and get into the astronautics corps that way. At the same time that I was offered the, the position at the Naval Academy, uh, I was also, uh, also offered a full ride scholarship at the University of California at Berkeley. Berkeley was uh, a wonderful place for me to, uh, to um, establish a rigorous foundation for, for my future career in physics and astronomy. Probably one of the most important formative experiences for me at Berkeley was toward the end of my time there in my senior year. I had the opportunity to go to, uh, to a real observatory, to a real telescope, uh, to collect astronomical data as part of a research project that I was uh, becoming involved in. And that research project was being undertaken at the uh, Kitt Peak National Observatory, uh, which is one of the national observatories uh, that is uh, just outside of Tucson, Arizona. And that expanse of desert that you can see when you stand atop Kitt Peak and look out to the south and in the distance you can see the U.S.-Mexican border, it is that same expanse of desert that my mother crossed um, in, her, um, in her quest to become an American. For me, that moment has always been a very defining one and, and a special one and one that I hang on to. It's part of my identity now as an astronomer. It is one that combines a commitment to the rigor of science um, with that sense of of where I come from, that sense of, of history and of family imperative that always pushed me to yearn, to be more, to achieve, and to do so in a spirit of, of service and of patriotism. The research that I do, very broadly speaking, is all connected in one way or another to the question of how are stars like, this, like the sun formed? How, how do stars come to be? Um, how do planetary systems around stars, like our own solar system, come to be? Um, how long does the process take for a star to be born and for solar systems like our own to be, to be made? Um, what, are the, um, what are the important physical processes that govern that, uh, that formation and early evolution of stars and planetary systems? Um, within that, um, my research uh, together with uh, now a large group of, um, of postdoctoral researchers and graduate students and undergraduate students that I mentor. Um, we have a variety of, of specific research and projects that all um, represent Hubble's thrusts law, within that overarching right. theme. We have a, uh, a long-term project to discover and, and analyze uh, eclipsing binary star systems. These are uh, star systems in which you have two stars, a pair of stars that periodically orbit one another. Um, but in addition, we happen to, with these eclipsing binary star systems, we, we happen to be seeing them from a vantage point at Earth where they periodically pass directly in front of one another. And so, periodically we see the light of one star blocked by the other and vice versa. These systems are, uh, are rare, but they're very important because from such systems, from the careful study of such systems, we can directly measure all of the basic physical properties of the two stars, what their masses are, what their diameters are, what their temperatures are, what their luminosities are. All of the basic physical characteristics we can measure directly and accurately from these systems, and so then we can use these systems as Rosetta Stones, if you will, to translate the kinds of measurements that we're, that we're normally able to make more easily for any star that we might want to study, uh, we can translate those 
properties into the fundamental physical properties that we're ultimately really interested in. But it is hard to, to choose one aspect of my, of my work that I would say is my favorite. Um, the fact is that it is an incredible privilege to be able to come into work every day and, um, and rather than worry about punching a clock or worry about um, you know, somebody uh, uh, telling me uh, what to do on a day-to-day -day basis, that I have the freedom to, uh, to think of ideas, to identify interesting problems that need solving, and to set about trying to figure them out. Thank you.